Good evening. In a recent turn of events, the UK Home Office has denied a visa to Amina El Ashkar, a stateless Palestinian refugee who was offered a full scholarship for a PhD program at the London School of Economics. El Ashkar, who was raised in Lebanon, faces a roadblock in continuing her academic pursuits, despite her previous success in UK educational institutions. Having completed a master's degree in Israeli studies at the School of Oriental and African Studies, SOAS, with the aid of a Shevening scholarship, her aspirations to further her education now hang in the balance due to this visa refusal. The Home Office cited the refusal as a matter of harming the public interest, a vague explanation that has not been further clarified. Really? This decision was particularly surprising given that the scholarship provided to Ashkar was part of a program funded by the UK's Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office designed to foster emerging leaders. The situation took an intriguing turn when it was revealed that Suella Braverman, who served as the Home Secretary at the time, had personally authorized this visa rejection. Since then, legal representatives for Ashgar have pressed for a valid explanation, but to no avail, suggesting potential political motives behind the refusal. Complicating the situation further, a judge from the Upper Tribunal for Immigration and Asylum Cases has criticized the current Home Secretary, James Cleverly, for failing to disclose his personal role in certifying that Ashkar should not receive a student visa, deeming it unlawful. The Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office has refrained from commenting on the case, shifting the responsibility to the Home Office, which has also chosen not to provide a public statement. This decision has sparked discussion and controversy particularly regarding the fair and transparent treatment of individuals seeking education in the UK and the potential underlying diplomatic tensions influencing immigration decisions. To follow this story and for more details on the ongoing debate surrounding Amina El Ashkar's visa refusal, we encourage our listeners to visit visaverge.com. Stay informed with us. Thank you for tuning in.